beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, welcome. My name is Dominique. Welcome to Naturally Noni. And today we are going to be talking about water propagations. And I know that water propagating or just propagating in general can be really scary for new plant moms or dads. But once you get the hang of it, it's kind of easy. Honestly, you just have to have a lot of patience. It does require patience because sometimes you might not see roots coming for four to six weeks and that can be quite a while if you're an impatient person like me. So today we're just going to be talking about a few tips and tricks. So the tip number one would be to make sure that you are choosing a healthy plant. I know that kind of seems like common sense. However, you just want to make sure that the plant that you are trying to propagate is completely healthy so that way you're not spreading any kind of disease to your new plant baby. Tip number two would be to make sure that whatever cutting contraption that you are using to cut your plants is completely sterilized. You don't want to leave your plants susceptible to any kind of bacteria or infection so just make sure you clean your scissors or whatever you're cutting your plant with prior to cutting it. Even if you have a specific pair of scissors that are designated for all your plants or gardening or whatever, you still want to make sure that you clean it off and sanitize it beforehand. Tip number three would be to make sure that you are cutting at least two nodes off of the plant. I will insert a close-up clip of that here so you can see what I'm talking about. The next tip, tip number four, would be to remove all the lower leaves from the cutting that you have done. It's because you are submerging the plant in water, so all of those lower leaves are going to end up rotting off if you don't remove them prior to. So just be proactive and remove the lower leaves prior to putting it in the water. So when it comes to the water that you need, I just use room temperature water that's probably best because you don't want to shock the plant by giving them too hot or too cold of water. So just nice room temperature water would be good. You, Some people use filtered water, some people just use tap water. I guess it's just going to be a personal preference of whatever you would like. I have done a mixture of both and cuttings have come out fine with both of them. I haven't really noticed a difference. So personal preference on if you want to use tap water or filtered water. And the next tip would be for lighting. You don't want to put them in direct lighting, but you also don't want to put them where they're not getting enough light. So bright indirect light is perfect for cuttings because the sun, direct sun could be way too harsh for them. And then obviously if they're not in enough sun, they're not going to grow as quickly. So I have them back here and they get a sufficient amount of sunlight. And if they do get direct sun, just make sure it's morning sun because morning sun is a lot gentler than afternoon sun. And my last tip would be if you are going, you could keep the cuttings in water forever if you really wanted to. Most people that do cuttings or plants are to either make more plants or to give them as gifts. So when you are transferring them from water to soil, just make sure that you are waiting till the roots are at least three to four inches long prior to doing that. So you can have them, I have them in a variety of glasses. You can put them in a brown colored glass because you can still see what's going on. Well, maybe not on camera, you can't, <laughs> but you can still see what's going on in there. They say that the brown glasses have less bacteria that grow inside of it. I'm not really sure if that's 100% true or not. That's just what I've heard. Or you can put them in a mason jar like I have these in. I'm surprised they started rooting already because I just placed them in water a week and a half ago. So I'm honestly surprised that those have started rooting already. Or you can put them in something like this, depending on how big of the cutting it is. Yes, it is a shot glass. We are resourceful here, okay? You could put them in something like this and then that'll work too, all depending on what you are propagating and how much you want to propagate. So I do have a few, um, one, two, three, four, five different things I'm propagating right now. So I showed you the ivy I'm propagating. I'm propagating philodendron. And then I'm also 
propagating my snake plant which should be ready to be rooted very soon because the roots are getting nice and long there and then i'm also propagating my scandapsis plant <laughs> forgot the name of it for a second i'm also propagating those and those roots are getting nice and long too and then my last one i'm propagating is my satin silver lady this one's propagating really slowly it's probably been in water the longest and i have one one single root coming from it so those are all the things that i'm propagating right now some pros and cons of water propagating pros is that you can see everything that's going on i'm kind of nosy when it comes to water propagating so i want to make sure that i can see everything that's going on in there i want to be able to make sure that the roots are growing and that there's no kind of bacteria forming or anything that could potentially harm the plant but some cons well, one con is that the roots that they grow in water are a lot weaker than normal roots that are grown in soil. So when it comes to transferring them from water to soil, it's recommended to do it slowly. Wait till the roots are developed enough so that way they'd be able to handle the shock. So the longer the roots are, when it comes to water propagation, the better because the less chance that they will have to die when you transfer them to soil because it won't be as much of a shock for them. And that's it. That's all I have to say about that. I hope this helps you guys start getting some water propagation going and start, you know, making more free versions of your plants because there's nothing better than a free plant, okay? That's it. That's all I have to say except thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.